All right, what is up, FPG fam? Further here, and I believe we are fast approaching a flame meta where we're going to be having our flame mains rising up, and that's exciting. But there are a few things that I want my flame mains to take into consideration and just be careful of. I wanted to discuss that with you all. So hopefully, you enjoy the video and get something from it. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the first thing that I want my flame mains to take into consideration, and that is. Cobalt B is most likely coming next as the next banner after Claudia, which once again is exciting for my flame mains because Cobalt B is bringing a lot for that element. She's coming with obviously the flame resonance, which is probably the most exciting part because now you're going to be able to build a proper flame team and you can include simulacras like King and Huma and start running that team properly and enjoying them and having fun. Not only that, she's going to be DPS oriented. She's going to have some decent charge rate and going to be able to do damage. But I believe and one thing that you need to be careful of as well is that the damage output that you're going to be wanting from Cobalt B, the potential, I believe is locked behind advancements, if I'm not mistaken. I believe you need to unlock some advancements on Cobalt B to be able to see the damage that you want from this Simulacra in particular. So just be careful with Cobalt B. Take that into consideration as a flame main. Now, the second thing that I did want to go ahead and discuss with you all and bring up is that Ruby is speculated to be the first banner in 2.0. Now that is huge, especially for flame mains, because that would mean that Ruby would be coming right after Cobalt B, which is gonna be extremely tough for my free-to-play players and light spenders, because you're gonna to have to, in my opinion, probably prioritize one or the other. I don't believe you're gonna have enough red nucleus to snipe both, unless you're extremely lucky and RNG is on your side. So in this instance, I believe you're gonna to have to prioritize one or the other, and if you're asking for my advice and recommendation, I believe Ruby would be the better Simulacra to go for. For many of the reasons that we spoke about with Cobalt B, just kind of enhanced. So what I mean by that is that Ruby is also DPS oriented, but I think the potential for doing damage is greater with Ruby, if I'm not mistaken. She has really good shatter and she has decent charge rate as well. So the shatter is one thing that she has over Cobalt B and also has very comparable charge rate to cobalt b so i believe ruby just in that aspect has the advantage there and then also at least on the cn side has the flame resonance now for all intents and purposes i believe she will come with the flame resonance on the global side but that is just pure speculation and theorizing don't have any confirmation on that so we would have to wait and see how the rebalancing happens for ruby on the global side and to see what the global development team does. But I believe she'll still come with the flame resonance. And if that's the case, then I think Ruby is the clear cut winner and the one that you should be prioritizing um, because Ruby is going to be a very core integral part of that flame team because of the flame resonance, because of the damage, because of the shatter and the charge and role that she's going to play in that flame team. So just keep that in mind just be careful and take that into consideration as a flame main and that kind of leads into the third part about skipping cobalt b for ruby that i kind of already addressed but that would probably be the thing that you would want to do is skip cobalt b go for ruby and, and another reason for skipping cobalt b and this is pure speculation as well is that much like i believe claudia will cobalt b will probably go into the standard banner like they did on the cn side and if that is the case, then you can get Cobalt B from either Gold Nucleus or Black Nucleus and save your Red Nucleus for Ruby or maybe get Cobalt B in a rerun. But I just think it would be more advantageous to go for Ruby and maybe get Cobalt B down the road. Now, as a flame main and all these flame simulacras coming one after the other, you have to then decide what type of team you're trying to build. And I believe the meta team or the team that's most optimal for a flame team would be Ruby lynn of course and annabella who is the most recent simulacra that came out on the cn side i believe that is the most optimal and meta flame team that you can put together so that would be another reason for maybe skipping cobalt b because she just doesn't really fit now this is of course not taken into consideration if you really enjoy cobalt b love her gameplay and you're not a fan of ruby or the others then of course go for Cobalt B, right? That should be without saying, but that's not a big factor for you or not something that you're too concerned about. Then of course, Lynn was going to be in there because Lynn is on every team for what she's able to do. And then Annabella, because 
Annabella is going to be that DPS oriented. Uh, Flame Simulacra as well have good shatter, have good charge rate, and just fits the role that she needs to fit in that team. So um, that's another thing to just start thinking about what type of team you want to build and just know that that's probably going to be the most optimal team that you can put together for the flame team of course you can put others in there if you want to they just might not be the most optimal you might struggle in some parts but it'll work out nonetheless whether you slot in king you're a human main you love cobalt b whatever the case may be you can go ahead and put whatever team you want together just wanted to provide you what i believe is going to be the most optimal team for the flame side and the last thing I did want to go ahead and discuss with you all and something to consider and just be careful of is with the Cobalt B banner. And this is something that you should always do, especially as a free to play player and light spender, is just to wait until about a few days before Cobalt B's banner leaves to see what's coming next and to see what they do for Ruby. Because then we should know about rebalances. We should know if Ruby's going to come with the Flame Resonance or not. So you'll have that information beforehand. So if they do something drastic to Ruby to where she's not as good as she is on CN or far worse, I should say, then obviously Cobalt B might be the way to go. And you can go ahead and then grab yourself a Cobalt B and then save for Lynn, save for Annabella. Right. But that is my advice. That is my uh, recommendation. Wait a few days before Cobalt B banner leaves. Try and be patient. Try not to have trigger finger and pull too early know what's going to happen with ruby know the rebalances know the information that's going to be coming next after cobalt b they usually at least get leaked so you can know what's happening and then make the best decision for your account and what you want to do for your team builds so hopefully this video was helpful guys that's everything that i have for you and, and once again i just want to stress the importance of just having fun enjoy the game play it the way you want to play it build up the account the way you want to build it up and just have the simulacras and play the weapons that you enjoy the most because if you don't enjoy them even though they're meta and they're good you're not going to have fun and you're not going to be enjoying yourself so just a last tidbit right there i'm going to get on out of here once again i hope you enjoyed the video got something from it and i'll see you all in the next one remember to stand out be different have fun go further beyond in everything that you do my name is cody but you can call me further i'll see you all in the next one bye guys